My, my, is that Cassandra of Aiad? The Eagle Bearer, messenger of Zeus, she who launched a thousand hearts? Alcibiades. I'm known by many names, but that last one sounds to be of your own making. My young friend Orchimethes here could use your legendary talents to woo the object of his desire. You would have my eternal gratitude. I'd like to know more about the man asking for my help. I'm Orchimedes. I came to Alcibiades because he boasts of his exploits as a lover and knows Braxila. I'm a Mystheos, not some famed lover. Nonsense. She proved her strength, dexterity and endurance when she got Roxana on her back. What's the job? Have you ever heard of Braxila? The name sounds familiar. Who is she? Who is she? A poet blessed by Apollo himself. She describes the gods as if they were her lovers. Her lyre is a legendary weapon wielded in her hands. I want to meet her, but talking to a goddess such as she? Terrifying. Oh, nonsense. Usually you give a woman some flowers and she'll show you her flower. However, this is Praxila. She is not easily impressed. Of course. No ordinary flower will do. They need to be worthy of a goddess. I come to this coast every year for the poetry festival. Of all the beautiful blossoms, none match the scent and radiance of the coral rose. Fetch some, and all doors and legs shall open for you. I'll return with your flowers. Where can I find the coral rose? It sounds rare. Mm, you would be correct. However, like all good things in life, these take more work than most are willing to expend. They're atop a nearby mountain. Say I do get these flowers. Where would I bring them? Back to camp? Braxila should be in her tent. You mentioned being here for a poetry festival? I did. It's one of the many festivals to Apollo, but this one holds a special place in my heart, among other places. Other festivals are so stuffy. Here we worship like maenads. I've heard enough. Please, if you are as skilled with sword and heart as Alcibiades says, you'll return to me with the coral rose. As a Poet, it's best that I stay at camp while you do the hiking. You'd be an easy snack for wolves or bears. I'll return with the roses. These must be the coral roses.
I found your coral roses. You're back! That... that's perfect. The roses are perfect. Oh, look at the luster. The fragrance. Now, you must deliver them to her. You came all this way to meet her. You should be the one to do it. Please, I'm much too nervous to speak to her. I've composed a poem to recite. Here, let me teach you. I'd say it all wrong. I'm a mystios, not a poet. Then, would you at least deliver the flowers while I rehearse? Fine, but the rest is up to you. Okay. She's at her tent. It's right there. Go give them to her. Praxila, I have flowers for you from Orchimedes of... somewhere. Did I not tell you to get the wine five minutes ago? <gasps> Cassandra Vahir. May I introduce you to my dear friend, Praxila, Apollo's muse and mistress of the Golden Strings. Your Praxila? Didn't expect an aged bard, mercenary of Ayat. It would be foolish of me to assume a master of the craft would be young. Praxila. This is Cassandra Vaiad, eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, launcher of a thousand. Cassandra, caca, care stone and light alike, leaves ladies and lads a light alive. Ailing women and awestruck men cling to her side. Ah, a true genius. Look at those shoulders. A soldier, a Spartan, a thorn in the side of tyrants. She who dares challenge Poseidon. Alkiviadis, this one I'm keeping my eyes on. The poems she writes about me are never so kind. I have flowers for you. They're not from me. They're from uh, Orchimedes. He's right over... Well, he was over there. A coral rose? Huh. I'll have to get my servant to add these to the pile. I also prefer actions to easy gestures. Where is that servant girl? I swear her head must be rattling with rocks. Mm, I wish she'd rattle my rocks. A haikos is missing. That idiot must have taken it with her and run off. A haikos? A haikos is Praxila's legendary liar. I set it down after tuning moments before you arrived. I can't go on stage without a haikos. I did see Orchimedes leaving in quite a hurry. We need to get that liar back. Please, without Praxila getting everyone's juices flowing, this festival is just a bunch of young men measuring the size of their verse. This liar was special. Can you play another for your recital? Perseus without winged sandals or a mirrored shield was just a man. Would he have the same legends, the same mystery, if he performed each task without a legendary weapon? It's very valuable, both in significance and in drachmi. Orchimedes and the missing servant both disappeared as the lyre was stolen. They could be working together. Oh, and he seemed like such a nice boy. Alcibiades invited the viper into my tent. Is there somewhere they could have taken it? It's a poetry festival. There is no better hub for shady trade. I'll find the thief and return the liar.
you know a man named Orchimedes? 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 That's the kid who hangs out around the Vipers. Yeah, I know him. He's been coming to the festival for three or four years, maybe. The Vipers? Who are they? You know how it is. People feel small, so they band together to make the rest of us feel smaller. They took over the temple of Athena Etonia a while back. Now it's hard to take the road without being held at knife point. Do you think that's where Orchimedes would take a liar? <sighs> Hope not. For his sake, the vipers are dangerous. If he did have the liar on him, they'd probably rough him up for it. <sighs> He's one of those kids that'd be keeping around for fodder, if you get me. Did he have a liar on him? I didn't see him with one. I saw him talking to you, then walking towards Praxila's tent. He and Praxila's pretty elot have been sneaking around lots. Just assume they were, you know, planting a garden. Is the Temple of Athena the best place to sell a stolen liar? You can buy and sell anything here, unfortunately. But going to the Vipers guarantees the person you stole from won't follow you in. Shame. It was such a beautiful temple. Thank you for your help. Hope you find the Lyra. Watch out for the Vipers at the Temple of Athena Etonia. that servant the one who disappeared at the same time as the liar i can explain orchimedes talked me into it and said he'd use the drachmi to buy my freedom when we escaped he said he wanted to bring the liar to the vipers i said no the viper said yes so the vipers have orchimedes and the liar now as for you you can go back to praxilla and apologize if you really want help I'm not stopping. No. Hey! That must be where they're keeping Orchimedes and the light. Someone save yeah, me!
been saved. These horrible thugs blackmailed me into stealing Liar. I doubt that. They took it from me when I was captured. <clears throat> Malaka got what they deserved. Did they force you to steal Praxila's lawyer? No. They gave me the confidence I was lacking. We would drink and complain about poetry at the festival, and I let slip that Praxila's my mother. What? Praxila's your mother? She is. She abandoned me and my father when I was a child. Something about following her destiny to be a wandering poet. My father, Achaikos, built the lyre for her as a wedding present. She loved it more than us. I just... I wanted her to feel the way we did when she left. Praxila got what she deserved for abandoning her family. I just wanted her to feel some of the pain I felt. Why don't I feel better? Archimedes, I know you still have the liar. Give it to me. It got broken in the struggle. Malaga! Wait, before you leave, I need some advice. Should I talk to Braxila? I don't know what to do. Approach Braxila as yourself and talk to her. Maybe she missed you and didn't know how to come home. I need time to think about everything. My father, my mother, my friends. Please don't tell Braxila who I am. I was able to get the liar, but not in one piece. Thank you. Oh, Haikos, what mischief did you get yourself into? Oh, Cassandra, quarter of thieves. I appreciate you bringing a high cost back to me, but I need to ask another favor. You need help fixing the liar. Perceptive, too. Look at it. Wood's gone soft, body splintered, it's toneless, toneless even. 
What can be done to save it? Crestus has been having this festival for years. The town is built around it. Of course, because instruments are as fragile as a poet's heart, there's a master lyre maker at Crestus' port. Not too far away. And since it's been proven that nothing is safe on these hills, I'll need some muscle for protection. I can help you get there safely. The journey will be worth your while. Come now. I'm right behind you. I have many fond memories of this place. I've watched the port grow into a town, and the small gathering of friends grow into a massive festival. It's more home than home. Your true love is a liar, and your home is a poetry festival? You never wanted to settle somewhere? Oh, you sweet young child. My life isn't as simple as you make it out to be. I'm like Zephyros, needing to go where I please. I learned this the hard way. So you care only for yourself? If you only live your life for others, what's the point? You're nothing but a slave, a loyal beast at best. People can get hurt. If I had lived the life expected of me, traditional and domestic, I would have died. Died inside. And like is not, thrown myself into the sea. I know what I need. Seems like the festival here is much less formal than the others I've encountered. Yes, Dionysus claimed our offerings to Apollo and granted us the gift of ecstasy. I can see why it would attract people from far and wide. Do not misunderstand. Hidden is one part of worship. Timiha, where are you? Who is making all that fucking noise? Uh, the smell of the sea is almost enough to cover your stench, Timiha. Raxila. I've been gathering fruits to throw at you all week. High praise coming from you. I need a favor. A Haikos was kidnapped by some idiot and needs a new neck. This idiot? Sadly, there have been many idiots on this journey. I hired this muscle here to get a Haikos back. Now she's keeping me company. All right. Give him here. Poor fellow's been brutalized. But you can fix it, right? Of course I can fix him. I am the best pair of hands you're going to find outside of Athens. Problem is, Achaikos is a special boy. I have materials, but nothing worthy of putting him together. What materials do you need? I have what I need for the neck, but the old one took the strings and yoke out when it snapped. Ah, there's a crack running through the sound box. That needs to be replaced. What should I be looking for? Some use bone for the yoke and neck, but nothing beats wood, in my opinion. Strings are made from gut, and we could use a shell for the sound box. Those strings don't look like guts to me. They are. Just soaked for a long time and pulled thin. I'm sure you'll enjoy killing some legendary beasts to help a Haiko sing. I've seen some liars with turtle shells for the body. Not a lot of turtles on this coast, but a good sturdy conch should do the trick. What's a yoke? And what wood do you need to replace it? The yoke is the crossbar that all of the strings are attached to. Sure is. It needs to bend, so a springy wood is best. I think we all can agree on that. I will return with the materials to repair Haikos. Fierce animals. I'll gut them for Praxia. are enough 
guts for fixing up my This shell should be perfect for Praxila's liar. This shell should be perfect for Praxila's liar.
That should be enough wood for a new liar. I have everything we need. Excellent. Give it here. Be careful with it. He'll like me better when I'm done. You always were too rough with your fingering. Well, that's the first complaint I've heard about it. There he is, looking more handsome than ever. You call this your best work? You're robbing me blind. Oh, shut up and go deafen the masses with your wailing. Thanks for the help. Here's your drachmi. I need some time to put a high cost through spaces. I might need some help after, though, so swing by my tent when you have a minute. Sure, if I'm in the area. Stop there! No place for you! They'll keep a sharp watch here. The Mistyos returns. Do you have time to accompany me and Akai Kos to our triumphant performance? After all this, I wouldn't miss it. Excellent. We team up once more. So we're a team now. Can I still expect to get paid? After my performance, Drachmi will be in no short supply. Trust me. You've dedicated your life to your art. You must have a lot to show for it. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Luckily, some have survived to touch people. Do you have any favorites? There's one I'm well known for that is very dear to me. The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. Then ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears too. Sounds nice. But we should get going. So, cucumbers. The sun gives us the fruit of the trees, like the fruit of the loins. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> Not me. Adonis. He's being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh. Why is he being asked this? Adonis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be pain to leave? I see. Looks like we've made it. Marvelous. Thank you. Looks like my adoring fans are ready for me. Be sure to catch the show. It's Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila, recite something for us. I've been reciting this poem for years. Cassandra, would you do me the kindness of allowing me to hear it anew from your lips? I couldn't. Nonsense. You know everything you need to do it justice. How about something new this year?
The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the moon. Wow! Is this a new version? Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. This is one of my favorites. Then, ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears, too. That's always been my favorite verse. Cassandra, your interpretation of my poem has made me feel more connected to it than I have in years. You didn't recite my words, but the emotions shone through. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It wouldn't be a poetry festival without someone causing a disturbance. Praxila, get to safety. I can handle them. Every year, some cursed idiots drink too much wine and get themselves killed. I didn't know poetry festivals were such lively events. Indeed. I need to take a moment to recover. Let's go back to my tent. Ah, but we do have a happy ending. Praxila. It has taken me long years of soul-searching and many nights of tears to bring myself to this moment. I am Archimedes, your son. When I heard the name of the man who stole my lyre, I suspected it might be you. I dreamt of hurting you as you hurt me and my father a thousand times. But I only knew you as the mother who abandoned me and not as the artist that I just saw. Just as Adonis lamented the beauty he left behind, I too left that which was most precious to me on the death of my old self. You're not dead. Neither of you are. Take this opportunity and see what you can build together. Thank you for all your help. <laughs>
found Etioclis' tomb. Well done, Keeper. Keeper, the heir of memories must search these old halls for the symbol she seeks. Will the heir rise to the task? I suppose she will. No? Every step brings you down a very long road to the heir. What you cannot show her, Vimos will. Vimos? How? The heir will know when the time comes. Altair 2? I've... Or Cassandra has found the next location. Great work. Where to? The tomb of Ateocles. I think I found a way in. Layla to the Altair too. It wasn't easy, but I'm in. I still don't understand. An AI or some other kind of consciousness is in the staff, which is used to open the Great Seal to Atlantis? Partly right. The symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. How? I'll let you know, once I find one. Guess I'm taking your word for it. Be careful in there. Here lies the King of Thebes. I still can't believe I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Preserved. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it has aged a day. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses still have hair and nails intact. Even millennia after them. Let's talk about corpses <gasps> after I'm out of here. Incredible. These the statues are in perfect condition. Near. The symbol! The first of three. You've done well, Air. It almost looks like a constellation. Layla, all of our readings are being jammed. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. But there's still two more to uncover. I'm going back into the Animus. There have been too many bugs, Layla. We need to stop and figure out what's happening. We'll stop once I've opened the seal. Layla out.
Come on. Keeper, come closer. I'm with you. You've discovered Agamemnon's tomb, a place where the heir of memories will find the symbol she seeks. So, what now? Now is relative. With this information, will the heir open her eyes and unlock the symbol? She will now. So, do I just wait here or something? Our task is already complete. What comes next, she must do on her own. I'm ready to meet the air now. When will I? Your understanding. What you do not know is that while you are yet to meet her, she already knows you very well. So, what do I do with the stuff? Keep it and let it keep you. The Keeper's task is to never succumb to death. All those you will ever know and all you will ever love will die. Then you will learn to love again, and those will die too, but you will remain. This was easy enough. Altair 2, I have our next location. Well done. Where to? Agamemnon's tomb in Argolis. Altair 2, found my way in. I think I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this, if assassin isn't your thing. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interference, and there are temporal discrepancies in the Animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. What a find! What is it? And spoil the surprise? All I'll say is, prepare to be amazed when I get back. There's plates on the floor. I should be careful. The second symbol is close. You have done well to get this far, despite the interloper. The interloper? Do you mean Vic? Or someone else?
second symbol. Another part of a constellation. Maybe they fit together. Altair 2, can you read me? The interloper can hear us. The interloper? Who? Layla, we hear you, but you're breaking up. Did you say you found the second symbol? I did. And Cassandra knows where the third is. I'm sure of it. I'm going to dive back in. As your doctor, and as your friend, I insist that we stop this. We're not able to guarantee you're safe in there. The staff? The staff makes me immortal, Vic. I'll be fine. Layla, please. Who's doing that?
tomb of Orion awaits the heir. In this tomb, the heir of memories will see how life grows from a dead place. Life growing from a tomb? If I hadn't seen the staff work, I wouldn't believe it. The heir's task is to bring life where there was death, and your task dooms you to endure loss. Close your eyes and picture the face of one you will never see again. What would you tell them? I would hold them, and tell them to be strong, and that we will be together again. Remember that answer, and the pain from which it comes. You don't have to tell me, Alithia. I will always remember. I will always keep. And now, will the heir of memories rise to face the tomb? I suppose she will. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2 here. The next stop is the Tomb of Orion. I'll show you how to get there when I get back. Altair 2, can you read me? We hear you. Layla, there's something you need to know. That interference in the comms is coming from an outside source. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone was listening in. It must be related to the staff. That's just it. I recognize the interference pattern. It isn't Isu. It almost reminds me of an erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack if I saw one. Besides, once I find the third symbol, it won't matter. If only I knew which order they go in. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, we're going back to Atlantis and I'll figure something out. We are approaching the final symbol. If the Keeper doesn't know the order of the symbols, her brother will.
the ceiling. But how do I get up there? symbol another part of a constellation they must fit together alter two can you read me okay Layla think this through outside the tomb of Ateocles Alethea said Deimos would show me what the keeper can't if Thea said answers Theras didn't and was killed for it the air is wise alter two come in please Layla that you did you find the symbol three for three we need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's run the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Cassandra knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alethea thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have his DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done with you on my side or not. No, 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 You, Brisson? The name is Demos. No, I heard you're not real. You're not real! Oh, I'm real. Here, let me show you. Your heart rate's accelerated, and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. What's happening? Itira! Korgas! Metin, that's all I know. You have to believe me. I'm not here to hurt you, Phidias. <sighs> We're friends. <sighs> I just want to know where these symbols come from. You would tell your friend, wouldn't you? Tira. Gorgath, Metin! Are you trying to anger your friend? Be afraid. We all die. 
But first... Tell me what I want to know. Itira, Korga, Metin. Itira, Korga, Metin. Itira, Korga, Metin. Layla, we're remote ending your session. Tira, Gorgath, Medti. Layla? Come in. Vic, you had no right. I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos's mind almost killed you. The interloper. He is listening. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. Doc, fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2. Vic, anyone. Can you hear me? The Great Seal has waited long enough. I'm... I can't. I've seen inside Deimos' mind. I... I can't contact the team. The Animus isn't safe. The trials of the air are just beginning. I don't want any of this. I'm no air. I thought I could do this, but I can't. You must. Okay, Layla. Snap out of it. You've come too far to give up now. All right. We do things your way for now. Talking stick. Now, the air must call the name of the first symbol. This symbol was the first I found, and the first name Sebephithias was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Now, call out the name of the second. It was this symbol, and the second name Sebephithias was Korgath. The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. And now, the final symbol. I remember! Phidias somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korga, Metin. Layla, can you hear us? Vic, you're alive! Sigma Force soldiers stormed the ship. Kyoshi was shot, but I stopped the bleeding. 
He saved us. It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally remote hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's safe. Before we go, how are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Please, don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do, but we need to do it together. I'm hearing you, Doctor. Atlantis has waited this long. It can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Until then, Altair 2 is going dark. <laughs>